still in our previous file, we are now going to create citations in MS Word. If you've been watching the previous videos, we now know that you can create captions automatically in MS Word. Now, citations can also be done the same way. For example, I want to cite a certain book for a certain sentence that I placed in my report. Now, what you're supposed to do if you have citations is you have to position your cursor, for example, here, and then go to References, and then insert citation. Now, we don't have any sources yet for our report. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new source. The Add New Source dialog box will show us the different parts of our citation, like who's the author, title, year, publisher, city, etc. So for example, I want to add an author. You could type it directly if you want. Or you could use the edit button here so that you'll be more guided when it comes to putting author names. So let's say author name is Smith, John, P, click add, click OK, and MS Word will automatically format that for you. Now we need a reference book, a title. So let's say I'm just putting any title that I'm thinking of right now. And then year, city, publisher, and then other objects that you want. But these are all the things that we need right now. This should be enough. Click OK. And as you could see, we now have a citation for this. The good thing about using the insert citation option of MS Word is that if you need to cite the same book, and that can happen, you have one report and you have to cite the same author several times, all you have to do is go to references, insert citation again, but this time you don't have to do all of those steps again because you have to just click on the book that is now found here and you now have the name of the author if you want to add more then no problem for example here I will be adding another author so insert citation add new source let's say we want to call a journal article author I'm just putting some names that any names that I'm thinking of right now click add click OK title just a random book name or um, title of the journal journal name what year it was published what page of the journal click OK and there you have it you now have a new citation a new book added to your report so whenever you need to cite the same journal again or same reference then all you have to do is just go again to references insert citation and just choose whichever author you are looking for now another benefit of using in the insert citation is that it allows you to create a bibliography automatically so usually bibliographies are found at the last part of your report or your document so we still have our figure table of figures there again control enter in order to create a new page and then we're now going to go for references and then this time you should see here bibliography and you're being asked how you want your bibliography header to look like do you want it as bibliography do you want it as references do you want it as works cited 
I'll just stick with the first one, bibliography. And now, MS Word automatically created a bibliography page for you. Now, if you are the type of person who are familiar with this, you may know that there are different ways or different standards in writing bibliographies. And you don't have to change anything whenever, for example, you decide to follow a different style. As you could see, what I have is the MLA style. I could switch to APA if I want. So it's now formatted differently. MS Word will just do that for you. If you have another option like maybe the Chicago writing style. So MS Word will automatically format the references for you. Before we close this video, just to let you know, if for example you have to return to a certain book and you need to manage that then all you have to do is click on manage sources and now you could select additional books from other books or other reports that you created you could delete so just to let you know these are other books that I added before in other reports so MS Word keeps a history and then you could simply add them now in your report